In this session, we shall look at why material variances arise. Now, when we look at our materials variances, they can be split into two types. There are price variances, which arise because the actual price um, of the materials is different from the standard price of materials. And there are usage variances. This is where the standard amount of, vari uh, of materials that we use for one unit is different from the actual amount of materials that is used for that same unit. So why do material price variances arise? Well, first of all, there might be an unexpected change in the price that's being paid per unit of quantity. Where, uh, where the price is higher than expected, that gives us an adverse variance. And where it's lower, that gives us a favourable variance. So why might this happen? Well, sometimes suppliers will change their price. Um, if we're dealing in a commodity that's bought and sold on a daily basis, we might see um, prices going up and down all the time anyway. There might be a shortage of um, materials which cause up the price um, to shoot up. Or there might be a glut of materials which would cause uh, the price to fall and sometimes crash. So there can be a various there can be various reasons why material prices go up or down um, and these will cause price variances. Alternatively, uh, we might decide to use a different grade of material than was expected. Um, so if we're going to be make, using a higher grade um, than expected, that'll probably give us an adverse variance because we'd be likely to be paying a higher price per unit of material than we'd expected or budgeted for. Similarly, if we're using lower grade uh, grades of material than expected, that should give us a favourable variance as we'd expect to um, buy lower grades of material at a lower price per unit of material. So let's now consider um, why material usage variances arise. Well, there are three main reasons. First of all, uh, the materials that we're using might be different from what had been expected. So if we're using a higher grade of materials than expected, we should see a favourable variance. Now this isn't very surprising. If we're using better materials, um, we should hopefully be able to uh, get more out of them because there's going to be less wastage or less rework required. If, however, we're using lower grade materials, then that would probably result in adverse variances being seen. Secondly, we might be using a different uh, grade of labour than expected. Well, if we're using um, more skilled labour or a higher grade labour, then we should see a favourable materials variance. This is because it's more likely that they are going to um, cause fewer mistakes or errors in their work um, and this will result in less materials being wasted. Likewise, if we're using lower grades of material, uh, lower grades of labour than expected, well, we'd expect to see higher wastage of materials as more errors were being made, and that would give us an adverse variance. Lastly, um, our usage variance might be caused by um, new equipment or changes in methods of production. So, for instance, if we purchase a new piece of machinery and that makes us more efficient, well, likely as not, that'll see a favourable variance being caused. Um, if, however, production methods um, become worse, say, that will make us less efficient, we're likely to see greater wastage, and that will cause an adverse variance. Now, from our previous two slides, I think you should be able to recognise that there are links between price and usage variances. 
Um, so for example, if we're using higher grades um, of materials, well, that will normally um, cause a favorable usage variance, um, but it will also cause an adverse price variance. So if we're going to change the grade of material that we're going to use, we've got to trade one off against the other. Similarly, they're going to be affected by changes to labor, ver uh, labor uh, used and equipment used, which was going to affect labor and overheads variances. So it's often the case that whilst we may improve one particular variance, it might have a knock-on effect on another type of variance. 